In this Cricut tutorial for beginners, I am showing you how you can quickly and easily apply vinyl to curved or rounded surfaces like coffee mugs or even ornaments. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants your Cricut and crafting channel where I post Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week. So if you are new around here and you're just trying to figure out how to use your Cricut cutting machine, well, you may want to consider stamping that subscribe button and then ringing that little bell for all the notifications because you, my friends, do not want to miss out on a single Cricut Minute, especially during the month of December because y'all already know that during the month of December, it is the 12 days of Craftmas around here, which basically means 12 different episodes, 12 different videos that are holiday or Christmas themed. And yes, they all include the use of a Cricut cutting machine. Now, not only that you all, but during the 12 days of Craftmas, I'm also giving away a huge Cricut prize package. I am giving away a Cricut maker. And as if that wasn't enough, I'm also giving away a Cricut joy with the hope or under the premise that you actually spread some love and joy and kindness by giving away one of those machines to someone you love. Not only that, but I'm also giving away a huge bundle of Starcraft HD permanent adhesive vinyl my favorite, as well as a 30 foot roll of the medium tack transfer tape, also my favorite, as well as my favorite weeding tool, squeegee tool, and a few other goodies thrown in there as well. Now, the way that you actually get registered to win is pretty simple. All you have to do is watch these episodes from the very beginning all the way up until the very end because hidden inside of each of these Craftmas videos is a holiday or Christmas themed phrase. But here's the thing. These phrases pop up one word at a time from the very beginning of the video all the way up until the very end. So at the very end of this video, once you have a full holiday or Christmas themed phrase, all you have to do is actually just text that in to me if you live inside the United States. And that phone number is 502-878-7189. If you have not yet joined my texting community, you'll obviously have to join that by just following the prompts that you'll receive once you text that in. Once you do that, you are registered to win. And here's the thing. Each episode is a brand new chance for you to get registered. So be sure to go back and watch any of them that you missed, as well as make sure that you have that bell on for all the notifications so that you don't miss any future episodes. Now, I obviously cannot forget my friends outside of the US. So if you live outside of the US, I've heard more than once that you all have had some issues trying to join my texting community. And I obviously want a very level, very fair playing field. So for those who live outside of the US, what you can do instead of texting that into me is just submit it by email. Just email it to me at mcpgiveaways at gmail.com. All right, so now on to today's project. And I am so excited for this project because I know that there are so many beginners out there that struggle with stuff exactly like what I'm about to show you today. So I wanna make sure I take one less thing off your plate and show you a super simple, super easy way to actually apply vinyl actually layered vinyl to a surface like a coffee mug and you can actually apply the same logic to ornaments as well. So obviously first things first we are going to need a Cricut cutting machine. In reality you can use any cutting machine that works with SVG cut files. Um, I am working with my Cricut maker because it's already out here on the desk but you can absolutely do this with the Cricut Joy or Cricut Explore Air 2 as well. Now we are also going to need some permanent adhesive vinyl and I am using this right here. And yes, it is very traditional in the Christmas colors, but that's mainly because of the SVG cut file that we're using today, which I'll get to here in just a second. But this is the StarCraft HD. HD stands for high durability. This is StarCraft's permanent adhesive vinyl. And this has quickly became my go-to. Like this stuff is amazing. Like I love this so freaking much. Not only is it a really good high quality, but it's also super, super affordable as well. Like y'all can actually get a five foot roll of this for $2.85. Yes, $2.85. And there's even a promo code that you can use on top of that, which I'll have the link and the promo codes and everything for you all listed down in that description box below, because if y'all have not yet tried this, y'all are missing out. And, and by the way, not to mention, all of the colors come in matte and glossy finishes. So I'm using the matte finish today. 
I'm also gonna be using one of my favorite vinyl hacks of all time, which is the parchment paper, or in this case, a wax paper layering method. This will save you so much time, so much stress, so many headaches. It's just all around amazing. So if you have not yet seen this, y'all are about to be in for a big treat. I'm also gonna be using some rubbing alcohol as well. And then also my favorite weeding tool, the pin pin weeding tool right here, a squeegee tool as well. And then also an SVG cut file. So let's hop over to designbundles.net because I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm planning on using. And here is the SVG file that we are using for today's project, which I am obsessed with. Like I love, love, love this. And I also love the price. I mean, right now at the time of filming this anyway, it is marked down 50% off from $3 down to $1.50. So I can't make any promises per usual on what the price would be or could be by the time that you actually go and check it out yourself. However, if you're watching this and you go check this out and it's still $1.50, I, I personally feel like that's a steal. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to Cricut Design Space. And as you can see here, I already had this uploaded and on my Design Space canvas. Now, if you're not entirely sure how to download files from Design Space and how to actually get that uploaded into Cricut Design Space, I will link my video for that right up here for you, as well as down in that description box below. Now, I personally feel like this is a great design to put onto a curved surface, like an ornament or a coffee cup, because it's not all connected. There are individual little pieces and letters and stuff, except for obviously where it says coffee and Christmas. However, let me just show you an alternative example. And that might be something like this pumpkin right here. And that's because it's all connected. It's all one big circle. And depending upon the size of this, there would be a really good chance that you're gonna get some tunneling in that vinyl whenever you apply it to your, your coffee mug. And basically what that means is it's not gonna lay down completely flat onto the surface. And that's something that you do not want, I promise. However, with this image right here, outside of where it says coffee and Christmas, everything is kind of like individualized and on its own. And I really think that this will work out great on a curved surface or more of a curved surface. Now, obviously size does matter <laughs> whenever it comes to things like this. Obviously the bigger it is, the more difficult it's gonna be in most cases. But really a lot of this is gonna come down to trial and error and just practice, practice, practice to figure out what works out best for you. But as far as this design goes, I'm actually wanting different elements of this to be in different colors. So I'm actually gonna right click this and to duplicate it like so. And I'm gonna have three different colors. So that means I'm gonna duplicate this another time so I can have three different images. And one of them will be red, one of them will be black, and the other one will be green. So let's make this first one red, why not? So I'm gonna select this. And the parts that I'm wanting to be red is where it says coffee, cheer, and I'm also wanting this little this little coffee mug right here to be red as well. So what I'm just gonna do is come down here towards the bottom right hand corner, select contour, and basically I'm gonna come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select hide all contours. And whenever you do that, whenever you hide all contours, it's basically going to hide everything in that image except for whatever the largest element of that image is. And in that case, it looks like it's coffee. So obviously the coffee is still here on the screen, but everything else is like, has a darker gray color to it, which means that that has been removed move from the image, so to speak. So I'm actually gonna make sure that these little inner portions of this word coffee is still stays intact. So I'm gonna go make sure that those are all added by just clicking them like so. And now I'm gonna actually click this little coffee mug. Make sure all the little elements in that is selected as well. And then I'm gonna come right down here and select each part where it says cheer. And as you can see, it's turning like from a lighter gray to a darker gray once I'm adding it back into the image, like so. All right, so now if we click anywhere off of this image or off of this hide contour box, we should see exactly what we wanted, which was the coffee and cheer. So I'm actually gonna come up here towards the top left-hand corner, click this little color swatch, and I'm gonna change this to red, like so. And now I'm gonna move on to the next image. So let's do this one in green, why not? So I'm going to come down here towards the bottom right-hand corner, select contour, and I am yet again going to select hide all contours. And yet again, it still kept the largest portion of that image. So just to give you an example, I'm gonna click off of here. And as you can see, it kept the largest portion or the largest element of that image. So let me come back down here and select contour. And basically we can't remove everything all at once. That's why it has to leave at least one element as part of the design. Before we can actually remove it from saying coffee, we need to actually select what we do want it to keep, which in this case, is going to be these presents right here. All right, so now we can come up here and select coffee and that's now removed and we can click off of here and here are our presents. So let me come up here towards the top left-hand corner, click the little color swatch and change this to green. 
And now on to the third and final one. Now this one's gonna stay black, so we don't have to change the color on this one. But I'm gonna come in here and basically remove everything except for where it says I run on and Christmas. So I'm gonna come down here and select contour. Again, I'm gonna select hide all contours. And then I'm gonna start selecting I, this R. Make sure that you don't forget that little cavity of that R right there. U, N, O, N. And now we can go ahead and click on coffee and actually remove that. And then we're gonna come down here and select Christmas. Again, make sure you get all the little cavities. Just like so, let me click off of that. All right, so I'm actually gonna click and drag each of these elements right over here so we can make one collective image, so to speak. All right, so that is kind of the virtual representation of what our project is gonna end up looking like. So I'm actually gonna click and drag over all of this. So I'm actually gonna come up here towards the top right hand corner and select group. And now we just need to get the measurements of our coffee cup. All right, so for the width of this very flat walled little coffee mug right here, I'm thinking around three and a half inches or so should be the max width for this. And I'm gonna say about three and a quarter inches for the max height as well. So what I'm actually gonna do is plug those numbers into Cricut Design Space and we'll see what it gives us. So I'm gonna come up here towards the top of the canvas where it says size and let's put in the width. Like, so we said the maximum width would be three and a half inches. So I'm gonna put in here 3.5, hit enter. And that actually puts our height at a little bit over three and a quarter. We're so close, like so, so close. So close as a matter of fact that we could just go ahead and click this little padlock right here. And once we do that, we can actually grab this little this little handle right here and just pinch that up just a little bit, like so. And doing it just a little bit is not going to distort our image at all. So I can come back over here and lock that little padlock back. And basically the image looks practically the same, um, except for it's going to fit a little bit better on our coffee mug. So before we actually go about cutting this out, I'm actually going to right click this and then select duplicate like so, because I'm actually gonna apply one of these to this little flat walled mug, which is definitely the easiest. And for this one, I'm actually gonna be applying it to an ornament. Now, I did already measure out this glass ornament, so I already know what size I wanna make it. So I'm gonna come up here towards the top of the canvas, right up here where it says height. I'm gonna change this out for three inches tall, and that's gonna be the perfect size for our ornament right here. It's also gonna show you all a great way to apply vinyl to curved surfaces, whether it be an ornament or a coffee mug or really anything. All right, so I'm gonna come up here towards the top right hand corner and select make it. Here's just showing us everything, how it's all laid out onto our different mats. I'm actually gonna scoot these a little bit further apart just by clicking on each of these and then just scooting them out like so. And now I can come down here towards the bottom right hand corner and select continue. All right, so for our base material cut settings, what I personally like to use for the StarCraft HD is the premium vinyl setting. And so for that, I like to come over here and select browse all materials. Now, if you're using a Cricut Explore Air 2 and you, you don't see this page, just turn your dial over to custom and then this should all pop up for you. I'm gonna select browse all materials and then I'm just gonna do a search for premium and then select premium vinyl. And there we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and load my vinyl onto my mats and we'll get started cutting. Now, whenever I'm removing my vinyl from my cutting mat, what I like to do is flip my mat over and peel my mat away from the vinyl instead of the other way around to avoid any damage from occurring to your material. And while all that finishes cutting out, I'm gonna go ahead and start weeding out my vinyl. All right, so I am completely done weeding everything out. And now is the moment, I guess we've all been waiting for, right? Where we actually apply this to our surfaces. So I'm gonna start off with actually applying this to the coffee mug. Now here's the thing about vinyl. The rule of thumb with vinyl is that the smoother, the shinier, and the cleaner the surface, the better the permanent adhesive will adhere to it. Now, once you apply a permanent adhesive vinyl to a surface, Give it at least 48 to 72 hours or so before you put it through any really heavy duty use or get it wet or wash it or anything of that nature. That vinyl needs time to cure and set up and properly adhere to the surface below it. And if you do any of those things before then, then you do run the risk of, of really not only just messing up the vinyl, but also greatly reducing the lifespan of it as well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my transfer tape because I love this stuff, this stuff is amazing. Again, everything that I use, everything that I list or mention will be linked for you all down in that description box below. All right, so let's start off with the biggest layer. And in this case, I'm gonna guess it's probably this coffee and cheer layer right here. So I'm just gonna apply the transfer tape down to the coffee. I'm gonna grab my little squeegee tool right here and then just burnish this down. All right, so there we go. So I'm actually gonna flip this over and then peel the backing paper off of the vinyl like so. I'm just gonna set this off to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and grab our mug and our rubbing alcohol because again, vinyl likes to adhere best to a smooth, clean and shiny surface. So I'm gonna wipe this down with some rubbing alcohol first and then let it dry and then we can apply our vinyl. And then I'm gonna take my wax paper and then my transfer tape with the vinyl decal and then just apply it right over top of where that wax paper ends. So just a little bit of that decal is peeking out above where that wax paper is. And then I'm gonna just carefully place this exactly where I need it to be. And whenever you think you have it where you want it to be, you can go ahead and just press down the top part of that vinyl to that cup, just like so. And then you can actually just lift up your transfer tape. Just to the point where you can actually pull out your wax paper. And then you can very carefully burnish the rest of that transfer tape down with that vinyl. and then carefully peel off that transfer tape. And then you just repeat that for the other layers. All right, so once you have it placed on your mug wherever you want it to be, and then that wax paper is acting as a barrier between the vinyl decal and the mug, go ahead and just push down the top part of this vinyl decal onto the surface below it. Go ahead and lift up your vinyl decal. Again, I am using wax paper. I do feel like parchment paper works out a whole, whole lot better. But you know what? If all you have is wax paper, it'll do the job. Pull that wax paper out, and then you can just burnish down the rest of this. And now for the last and final layer for the mug anyway. All right, so there is our Christmas mug. So I'm gonna use the exact same piece of transfer tape for our ornament as well. But first I'm actually gonna wipe this down with some rubbing alcohol. And as a stabilizer for my ornament, I'm just gonna set it into this little roll of masking tape right here, just like so. All right, so this particular design may or may not even need this, but just in case, I'm gonna show it to you anyway in case you all need it in the future. Whenever I'm applying vinyl to a very curved surface like what we're doing today, I have to grab my scissors and then put in these little slits all around the design. Obviously making sure that we're not actually cutting our vinyl. <laughs> All right, and I am again going to apply this over some wax paper just until I get this positioned exactly where I want it to be on the ornament. And I actually just ditched the wax paper for this layer right here because it was really just getting more in my way than anything. For this one particularly, I'm actually going to peel off the top portion of this design. And now I'm gonna apply the second layer where it says Christmas down here separately.
Now, if you all liked today's episode or if you learned something new, consider stamping that like button as well as dropping a comment down in the comment section below. Both of those things help me out tremendously here on YouTube and I honestly cannot thank you enough. Also, while you're at it, if you are new around here and you're just wanting to learn how to use or maybe even master your Cricut cutting machine, well, you may want to consider stamping that subscribe button and then ringing that little bell for all the notifications because you, my friends, do not want to miss out on a single Cricut Minute. Again, especially during December because, well, it's the 12 days of Craftmas. And at this point in the video, you should have all of the different words that make up the hidden Christmas or holiday themed phrase. So if you are in the US, text that in to me right now at 502-878-7189. Or if you're outside of the US, email it to me at mcpgiveaways at gmail.com. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching today's episode. As always, it truly, truly, truly means the world to me. And I'm just so extremely grateful for each and every single one of you all. And until next time, stay crafty.